What's up everybody, this is Pi with srlounge.com. In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to upgrade the SSD and the RAM in our Asus G75 VW DS73. Here's what we're gonna need. Of course, we have our laptop. We're gonna be upgrading to Crucial M4 drives. These are two 512 gigabyte drives. They're quite affordable, actually. I think we got these for 380 off of Amazon, and they're constantly changing in price. So if you find them on sale, you might be able to get them for 300 bucks. Or if you just wait a while, they're going to go down in price anyway. Uh, we're going to upgrade to two of them. Uh, we also need a standard electronics or laptop screwdriver set. Uh, it's just a smaller size, basically Phillips head screwdriver that we'll be using. We got this set for like 10 bucks from Radio Shack. Uh, this already has 16 gigs of RAM in it, but I will show you guys how to upgrade the RAM if it only has like say 8 or 12. I'll show you exactly where it goes and everything like that. So we don't have any additional RAM because it's already upgraded. It came that way from the factory. All right, let's get started. Okay, we have our G75 flipped over here. We're going to go ahead and get started. First thing I like to do, just to be careful, is just pop out the battery, make sure it's unplugged, make sure there's no possibility of essentially this uh, machine starting up or having any juice running through it while you're working on it. Um, when I used to be, I actually used to be a tech for CompUSA and we'd always wear static bracelets and stuff. I think it's a little bit overboard. I've never actually fried a component due to static. Uh, if you're careful, you know, you should be totally fine. So I'm not going to go so far as to wear that bracelet right now. Um, and, and you know, the, the best kind of working place is on a hard table, you know, with surrounded by hardwood. Don't go working on this, you know, running on carpet or anything like that. That's going to create static to begin with and you'll be totally fine. I just have my standard uh, electronic screwdriver with a Phillips head on it. We're just going to undo this back screw holding the back plate on. And uh, this is what I love about these Asus machines. They're so easy to upgrade. Okay, we're just going to pop this back plate off. And what you want to do is you want to pull kind of firmly, but not too hard. Okay, so it should just start to pop off and you want to just kind of evenly pull it across while it's popping off. Now, the first time you're doing it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, it'll get easier as you're popping it off, you know, to do anything. Well, you should only really have to do this once, but <laughs> the first time you're doing it, it might be a little bit more firm on there. I'm going to place this back plate right over here. We're going to use that to put some of our screws on as well as use our little screwdriver case top. So here we have our two hard drives. Uh, it came with a 750 gig hard drive as well as an SSD, a 256 gig SSD, which is really actually quite fast on its own. The thing is, we're going to upgrade it to the M4s, 2512 gigs, simply because when it comes to processing images in Lightroom, our main thing here, our main bottleneck, if we have a fast processor, we have a good amount of RAM, is really going to be the read and write time with, that, uh, with these hard drives. So we want to upgrade both of these. And here is our RAM. So if you need to upgrade your RAM, there's actually two other spots where it's going to have RAM, but it's going to be harder to find. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be located underneath the keyboard. You have to go in and detach a lot of stuff. This machine actually came with 16 gigs of RAM, so it came with a max loaded up based on this model. But sometimes if you get a different model of the G75 series, it might not. So if you do upgrade RAM, it would be right here. All you do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it exactly. We're just going to pop these two out. To pop it out, I'm just basically pulling on the outside little hinges until it pops up and then pulling it straight out. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like without the RAM installed. All you're going to do is take your RAM chip. And with a laptop, if you ever installed it on a PC, it's a little bit different. On a laptop, you kind of install them at an angle. You kind of nudge it in until it's, it slides in all the way. And then you just push it down until it snaps into place. Okay, so it's, it's very simple. You don't have to use a lot of effort or force. It's just going to kind of pop into place. And you'll hear it snap when you push it down correctly. Okay, so both these are installed. That is exactly how you would install your RAM if you do have RAM chips to put in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull off these both these uh, hard drive brackets, disattach the brackets from these current hard drives, and then attach it to our M4. So let's get started on that, and let me find my screwdriver. Where did I put my screwdriver? Here it is. Okay, <laughs> let's undo the first one. We have two kind of screws here holding in the uh, bracket in just to make sure it stays secure. So we're just going to undo these first. All right. And then again, with my screws, I like to make sure that uh, they're all kind of in one place so I don't lose them or forget which one was for what. So I like to place them up and kind of in groups. So I'm going to place this right here. Let's grab this hard drive mount, pull it out, or I'm just grabbing from the tab and pulling it straight back from where it's mounted into this little uh, socket right here. All right, so let's pull it up. 
Here's our hard drive. We have this hard drive mount on there. We're just gonna detach the mount. So let's unscrew all the screws for here. Looks like I'm missing a screw there, that's fine. A lot of times when I'm kind of shortcutting this, I'll only attach two screws because really you only need two screws. It's uh, with four screws, it's extra, extra stable. All right, okay. Now we detach this, pop it off, and here is that 256 gig SSD that came with the computer. I'm gonna place this right, we'll place it right over here by the battery. Let's grab our first M4. I've already opened these just so I don't have to stumble through it in the video. Okay, we'll place our little M4 in its box off to the side. All right, so now all we're gonna do is just attach it to the mount and then place the mount into our socket. So what I like to do is just make sure orientation-wise I have this lined up correctly. The way I like to check for that is pop the drive in so you know that the drive is oriented correctly and then you're just gonna place this over just to make sure. Okay, so it's gonna go basically like this, all right? So let's pop these both out and attach it like that. Okay, we're gonna place it into the socket, kind of slide it into place, and then we're just gonna grab the tab and pull it right over to that SATA port right there until it connects nice and solid. Now we're just grab the two stabilizing screws and we're just gonna pop them right into that way it's gonna hold our mounting plate and our hard drive securely in place, regardless of what we're doing. All right, let's see if this is a little bit, isn't quite going in. There we go. Okay, if you find that a screw is having a difficult time of uh, kind of screwing in, don't keep screwing it in, because what's happening is it's probably going in at a tilt, and it's most likely because the, the holes haven't lined up properly. So if that's the case, just kind of take the screw out, uh, you know, kind of nestle it back in snugly and make sure the holes are lined up and then screw it back in. Otherwise, you can end up stripping your screws and those, uh, and those holes as well, which becomes a problem. Okay, we have one more drive to go, so let's detach the mounting plate screws and let's pop it out. All right, same thing, we just pulled on the tab. Now we're gonna undo all four of our screws. This is kind of my shortcut ways. I just hold this over my tray <laughs> and do it this way because they always drop and it's kind of hard. You know, they, uh, we used to, I loved using magnetic screwdrivers for stuff like this, but uh, we used to be so worried that it actually caused issues with our hard drives and stuff because magnets and memory was never a good combination. But I think now actually these are all protected. Don't have to worry about it too much anymore. All right, so here's that Hitachi drive. Now here we have a 750 gig and a 256 gig hard drive right here that are actually worth quite a bit. You could probably get a couple hundred bucks out of those, which would pay for probably most of one of these drives as well. So if you don't need those, uh, you know, it's always a good idea to sell them before they get too outdated. We have so many drives and so many systems in our studio that we generally will keep them just as kind of spare parts. If we need them for anything, sometimes it's nice to have a, a 256 SSD just in a, uh, a desktop, you know, just as the operating system, uh, operating system hard drive if you need it. All right, so that's how that's gonna go in. And this guy, looks like it's, that's correct, okay. All right, so line these up, Let's screw this back in. This is not a long process, guys, I and mean, we're gonna get this whole thing done in like 10, 15 minutes. So each one of these machines that we have in the studio is upgraded so that it has these SSDs. They run very, very quickly with them. Okay, so if you drop a screw in like this, I'd also recommend, uh, I have a little, kind of like a tweezer thing for electronic devices. Right now it didn't fall into any kind of dangerous area. If it actually fell into an area of like, where there's other components like in this area, I would not be using my screwdriver. Um, I have a little kind of like tweezer that you can use to pull out things if they fall in. So don't get 
crazy if things fall kind of over other components and don't go in there with a screwdriver because you could damage something else. All right. I mean, generally these hardware is kind of a lot tougher than you'd think it is, but still, we don't want to go in there rummaging around with a screwdriver. All right, place it into the socket and then just pull the tab right over. Make sure these screws are aligned and then we just secure that hard drive and plate. Again, I love this, you know, it's, it's one of the best facts about, uh, you know, Asus and other companies that make their components very easily accessible. I mean, I, I enjoy using Mac on occasion, but I, I get really frustrated with the amount of proprietary components that you have to deal with, just not being able to upgrade things uh, when you want to. Okay, we're done. We have our hard drives in place. If you guys needed to upgrade your RAM at that time, you would have already. We're going to grab this back plate and we're just going to snap it in place, kind of going the opposite direction. So I'm just going to put the back in first and kind of just guide it in until the backside is, is flush. And then we're just going to slowly push down. What I'm going to do is just kind of move my thumb along the side until it snaps into place in each little spot. Okay. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. If you find you're having to push down really hard while doing this, most likely it's because these, uh, these little notches haven't aligned up to their grooves correctly. And if you push down really hard, there's a chance they might snap. So if you're pushing hard, just stop, kind of make sure that it's aligned correctly and then try again. Don't push too hard. Okay. We have our plate screw in. This is all done and ready to go. We're just going to pop our battery back into place now. Place it back down. There we go. And we are done, guys. We have upgraded it. Now, what I'd recommend with your spare hard drives is grab those little static cases that came with the new drives and place them inside of those static cases where they will be nice and safe. And I use those boxes as well. So we'll decide if we want to use these or sell these. But bottom line is we have upgraded our G75. Now we have two 512 gigabyte SSDs. We have our 16 gigs of RAM. We're ready to install an operating system, or if you like, you can restore the existing setup. I always like to install a completely clean uh, operating system over my machines so we don't have anything that basically came from the factory, just so we're not bloated in any way. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.